Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today, we're going to talk about Bitcoin, and we're going to be putting back on our on-chain analysis hat and looking at the total transaction fees. If you guys like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and check out Into the Cryptoverse Premium at intothecryptoverse.com. Let's go ahead and jump in. So occasionally, we like to put on our on-chain analysis hat and look into things that we can find with Bitcoin on-chain. One of those things are the total transaction fees for Bitcoin. What's interesting is they give a really great signal. You can look at this on a logarithmic scale, of course, but on a linear scale, you can quickly see how it does generally identify major tops. And this is one of those metrics that yet again shows that that 64K peak was a lot more important than the one that came later on at 69K. And that was where the actual mania phase occurred. In fact, when we hit 69K, the transaction fees were, were much closer to, say, bear market activity than what you would expect to see in a bull market. Now, one of the things we can also do with this is to drown out some of the noise and perhaps, say, add moving averages to the total transaction fees to maybe even provide uh, potentially a somewhat lagging indicator, but a little bit more clarity on this indicator. And you can see that in bear markets, we tend to, you know, to come back down to some background level for the total transaction fees, as most of the tourists are in fact gone. Over the macro scale, when you look at this on a logarithmic scale, you can see that it generally has been increasing for the most part. Um, but really, since you know, since about 2017, it's been more or less or so range bound, rather than you know, rather than continuing to go too much higher. We did see it though this cycle. If you look at it this cycle, the total transaction fees. Uh, if we just look at it plain, you can see we did not actually even peak at the same level we actually went to all the way back in 2017. Of course, some parts of this are going to be because of upgrades to the network and that kind of stuff. Um, but regardless, regardless, it, it does show a fairly a fairly concise signal when trying to to look at at mania phases in in bull markets. Um, and and for me, you know, this this was one of the reasons. Uh, why I was I I wasn't I wasn't super optimistic about about this period over here. What's interesting when we went to 69k, we were already looking at bear market activity with the total transaction fees, and this is probably going to be something useful that we can look at in the future as we continue to navigate crypto. We can also look at it denominated in Bitcoin rather than U.S. dollars. With U.S. dollars, of course, it's going to be very you know highly correlated because we're we're plotting this. Um, uh, if you if you just sort of multiply it by the by the by the price, of course it's gonna gonna take up a lot more. It's gonna go much higher. If you just denominate it by Bitcoin, it's actually you know it's actually a decent amount lower than it was back in um, back over here. But what I find interesting again is that that bear market activity really started back in like you know August of 2021, and it's more or less just been bear market activity ever since. You can see that in prior bear markets, we came down to this bear market activity for um, you know potentially a year to a year and a half before ultimately going back up, and that's where we you know we've currently been uh, since August of 2021. If you guys like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, check out Into the Cryptoverse Premium. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.